So today's lesson is how do models help us understand how living things interact? So scientists use models all the time. Weathermen use models to predict what the weather's going to be like. You know, sometimes we do models to, on a chemical interaction to see it's too dangerous to do. Let's do it on a computer. Let's try it small. So models do two things. They help us understand, but they're not exactly like the real thing. They have limitations. So the game we're going to play today is a model about animal populations, about if there's a lot of animals or a few animals and how that changes over time. Got it? Okay. Now, when we play this game, it's not going to be exactly like the animals we're studying. The name of this game is Oh Dear. No, it really is. Oh dear. What are we going to play? Oh dear. Oh dear. And we're going to talk about animal population deer over 10 years. See, every deer needs three things, at least. They need shelter. Put your hands like this. Shelter. They need water. Water. And they need food. Food. But because of competition and because of both natural and man-made things, they don't always get it. When there's a lot of surplus of shelter, water, and food, food, it's a good year for deer. A lot it's of deer, a lot of baby deer. <laughs> when it's a bad year and there's not this, what do you think is going to happen to the population? Up, stay the same, go down. What do you think? Okay, well, we're going to find out. We're going to chart it over 10 years and look for some of the causes. So whenever I play any game, I have three rules. Rule number one, play fair. It makes no sense to cheat in a game when we're trying to learn something, duh. Okay. Number two, have fun. Number three, be safe. So there's not going to be running, no deer attacking each other. No deer running out on the highway, getting hit by cars. That would really hurt the animal population. Okay, so we're going to go outside and play this game, and everybody's going to get one of these cards. You might be a deer on the first year. And if you're not a deer, you're going to be habitat. And the habitat could be shelter. Show me what shelter is going to be like. Okay. Or you might be water. Show me what water is going to be like. That's water right here. And food. Okay. Those are the three things. All right. So any questions? No. Okay. Okay. So, we can review a bit because we played a game that was similar to this. What was our game called? Um, a wee bear. How, many bears bears can live how many bears bear can live in this forest, forest, right? And so what did we do? We, we collected like food. Right here. Here. Yeah. We, we collected food, right? First we were all beer, and we went out and collected food. And then we saw, is there enough food for all of us to survive? What, no. did, we find, what did we find out? No. Um, Maddie? Nah, um, only six of us. Bears could survive. Only six out of how many bear, Emily? How many bear did we have? Twenty-seven. Out of six out of twenty-seven bear could survive. Because how much food did a bear need for every ten days? That it, Eight. Maddie. Eight. Eight. Shoot. <laughs> eighty pounds. Eighty pounds of food. Okay. We needed eighty pounds of food. Those six that did survive. What did we find out about those six that did survive? Elia. They had more food than the other. But what else did we learn about them? They weren't. They weren't very healthy. They weren't real healthy because some of them had a lot of one kind of food and not a lot of the other. Okay, so we're going to do something similar to that today when we play Oh Dear. Right? Okay, so this part of the classroom, you guys are all habitat. And I want you to think which type of habitat you want to be. Shelter, food, or water. And on this side of our playing area, we have six deer. Okay, would you six deer turn around and face the other way? Okay, deer, decide what you want to eat this year, what you need to survive. Pick one. Habitat, pick what you are this year. Hold it by your stomach. Okay, so we have, let me see it. We have, okay, don't change. Decide what you're going to be. What are you going to be? You can't be a deer yet. Show me. Food, shelter, food, shelter. Oh, look at this. Okay, 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 okay. So I think we're ready. One, two, three. Oh, deer! Now, we have six deer that need habitat. Deer, you walk across and tag one that is matched to what you need. Go ahead, walk. 
and bring them back. And what do you think about the population this year? It was six. What is the population now? What, how many deer do we have? Did all the deer survive? Yes, we have 12 deer. It was a good year for deer. Habitat? Oh, not so good. Okay, so we've had two years. Let's continue. All right, so year three was really good. How many deer do we have in year three? Twenty-two deer, except for one poor little deer right here that was looking for food. What happened? Deer, what happened? I died. You died. You didn't get any food. So now you're going to decompose and you're going to turn into habitat. So get over there. All right, now I got a question. We have three habitat left and 22 deer. What do you think is going to happen to the deer population this year? Going. It's going down. Deer, turn around. Pick what you need and habitat, decide what you want to be. Ready? Somebody's looking, don't let them look. One, two, three. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Only, all right, the rest of you died. The rest of you over here. The rest of you died. Hey, young man. Sorry, your habitat now, you're dead. Okay, so what happened here with the population, guys? It, um, a lot of it went down. down. Why did it go down? Because they couldn't find what they needed. Okay, wait a minute. Let me call on somebody because we're outside and I can't hear you all at one time. Maddie B. It went down because there wasn't as much water, shelter, or food. Okay, it went down because there wasn't enough water, food, or shelter, right? Okay, is there something natural that could happen that could also cause this? Yes. Yeah, well, okay, we could have babies, but is there like a natural disaster that could happen floods. that would cause our population to go down? What would it be? Um, floods. Okay, we could maybe have a flood. What else could we have? Desi? Fire. We could have a fire. What happens to the deer then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Kiara? We could have a drought. What's a drought? We have no water, right? Yeah. If we don't have any water, are we gonna have any grass? No. No. All right. So lots of things could happen to cause our population to go up or down. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're here at Rhodes Elementary playing the oh dear game. On this side we have our deer, on this side over here we have our habitat which is food, water, or shelter. The count of three we're going to say oh deer. One, two, three. Oh, oh deer! All right, so all the deer on this side went over to get one of their basic needs. They either got food, shelter, or water, and they returned back here with uh, their partner, and they survived. If they did not get a partner, then they did not survive through this year.